Geraldo's corner, he looked a little tired. When you get tired, that's when you're going to have to stand and fight. He's doing this may that turn now. into a brawl now. All the tactics may go out the window, and now it's going to be who outfights who, and the fight's on the line. So let's see who can outfight who. Hagler is really determined in this round, putting continual pressure now on Geraldo. Geraldo continues to counterpunch effectively. It's always a moment of truth in a fight, Tim. It's just about now it's going to take place. Eighth round scheduled for 10. And Geraldo's a little tired. Hagler missing rather badly. They're yeah. showing a little frustration. Geraldo's lost a little steam, though, Tim. He didn't take advantage of it. He didn't count the punch. That's right. Hagler a little busier than Geraldo this round. Good left to the cheekbone of Geraldo. There's that moment of truth we were talking about, Tim. Have to settle down and fight. Not much sting in Aralo's punches in this eighth round. He does appear arm weary. Hagler landed with that left hand. Perhaps the best punch of the fight for Hagler that left. A minute to go in round eight. Marvin very determined now, and Geraldo definitely in more of a retreat. Hagler going to the body, coming up top, throwing a lot of leather in this eighth round. Under 30 seconds to go. Been a good round for him. We're in the final seconds of the eighth. couple of rounds. A little loss of confidence in the eyes of Geraldo, it would appear to me. Agra's jab is harder than Geraldo's right hand. More boxing action a week from tomorrow on the Sports Spectacular Heavyweight. Batting young Jerry Cooney against the veteran Jimmy Young. First big test for Cooney. Pulled away from most of the impact, and now Geraldo Furrier. He's got to know he's got to get busy here. Less than a minute to go in the ninth round. Right uppercut landed to the jaw. Hagler scores with a combination. And Geraldo waves him in, saying it didn't hurt me, but he's landing now, and continually. Under 30 to go in round nine. And that right jab has been a big punch for Hagler. Approaching the end of the ninth round, Marvin Hagler assuming command in this fight. 
Mexico, who doesn't have great power when he's fresh, would not, I don't think, have the kind of power that could take Hagler out, and it looks like he's got to do that. That's that's right. Uh, they, they told Geraldo in his corner, you know, my great understanding of Spanish, they told him to get off first. Get off first. All we'll right. see well, if he does it. Your understanding of Spanish is uh, superior to mine, Gil. That's not saying a lot, Mike. Well, he's trying. He's trying. He's trying. He will try. Oh, he was wobbled by Hagler, but got his balance back. It looks like we'll have a slugfest here in this final round. Well, he came out trying, but then he got nailed. There's a foul. He grabbed the rope and used it for leverage. He got a warning from Carlos Padilla, the referee. Hagler's going to keep coming at him. Hagler can't be absolutely certain that he's got this fight on point. So he can't afford to just uh, laze around out there, and it looks like he's going to continue to throw punches. He's taking big shots at Geraldo now, though. Geraldo has to punch himself, and he has to keep punching. They're toe-to-toe -to -toe in the middle of the ring now, this final round. Right hand snapped Geraldo's head back. Kind of an uphill jab from Hagler against his taller opponent. As we pointed out before, his jab is much more powerful than Geraldo's right hand. Hagler is tired, as we pointed out, though, Tim. He's tired. He was not sent into the ropes with a punch. Some of the crowd here thought he was. He was off balance and weary. He just kind of fell back into the rope. He's had to work hard against Marco Geraldo. Well, if he gets this decision, it's a great, good tighten him up for him for his championship fight, Tim. The other two fights were too easy. Boy, you're so not kidding. This has been a great workout. He does not plan another fight before meeting the winner of Minerata Fermo, and that's assuming he gets a decision here. Ronaldo's seeing off now. He's trying, planting himself, trying to throw punches. Hasn't got anything fight. on it, though. And Hagler scoring inside. Geraldo has not hurt his reputation in this fight against Marvin Hagler. Tim, he's rated number five in the world, and rightly so. I don't know too many middleweights that can beat Geraldo, to tell you the truth. Less than a minute to go in the fight. Hagler keeps coming forward. Geraldo doing what it can, but it does not appear that it'll be enough. Three judges may see this entirely differently. We'll allow for that, as always. scoring inside with a combination. Less than 30 seconds to go in the fight. Geraldo is weary. He's weary. He's tired, but he's never really been hurt by Marvin Hagler, the bomb thrower from Brockton. He's not been able to really put any punishment on Geraldo. He's put the wearying kind of punishment on. But nothing really spectacular. Final seconds of the fight. A lot of people are yelling, Geraldo, Geraldo. Well, he's got a lot of Mexican fans, and he put on a great show here. That's the end of the fight. And Marvin Hagler has had his hands full. The crowd comes to the Standing ovation, Standing great ovation. Standing ovation. Great middleweight fight. We'll be back in a moment. The number one rated Marvin Hagler, and Marvin got himself more than he can bargain for here this afternoon as he was really in against a tester, and he's joining us here at ringside. We can get the hand mic. Here we do. Here we have it. And uh, all we got to do is get turned around here, Marvin. We've got the camera right behind you. And uh, Marvin, I, I got to believe that uh, you didn't expect as tough a fight as you got from Marco Zeraldo. Uh, well, no, I really I only had about a good nine days in the gym, you know, and uh, because I had a death in the family with everybody up there. But the next time that I fight him, I'll be in Ladies better shape. But I should have put this man away. But I felt good. I'm glad that I fought a good 10-round fight hard for the championship because you need those kind of fights to get you ready for the championship. First of all, I'd like to thank God for the strength and the courage. Also, to say hi to my fiance, we'll be married in June, and my mother that couldn't make it, follows me all over the world. All right, Mark. And my son in New Jersey. Thank Gil, you. Gil made that point that uh, you, got your, you got yourself a good workout oh, uh, loved it. with loved it. Geraldo. Loved it. He's a good fighter. He see that I was very skilled, too. Every time he would come with something, I would come right back. I showed him that I was made of a good championship. Those are the kind of fights that really proves what a championship is all about. Coming back in the last four rounds the way that I did. I felt real nice and strong, a little tired. But the next time that we fight, if we ever fight, I'll be in better condition. You want Vito rather than Minder, don't you? Doesn't make any, any difference. I'd like to bring Vito right back here to Vegas where we had that draw and finish him off right here. But Alan Minter, he's a champion, so that's the guy I got to go after. I want my belt that belongs to me. I've been 
training hard, running these long rows and everything. It's got to come to me. Sooner or later, it's got to come to okay, me. Okay, Marvin, congratulations on Thanks your victory here today. And we'll be back here at Caesars Palace Thanks. in just a moment.